Hey guys, are you looking for a AFK money farm that can earn you over 25 platinum an hour? And you also would like it if it could farm for biome key molds? And you also wouldn't mind collecting some rare accessories? Then I'm about to show you one of the easiest traps you can build and it's completely AFK. So here we are in the ocean biome. As you can see, we've right out, I've built a platform out here and this is your typical ocean grinder, although I've made a few little adjustments just to make it super efficient and super easy to use. So, first thing, um, what we're going to do is actually explain how it works. So I'm going to jump in to this shallow pool of water, and what that's actually going to do is aggro all the mobs in the ocean. So you can see, because we've got a jungle biome, the Arapaimas or whatever they're called are coming, you take your broken slime staff and you want to summon as many slimes as you can. We want it broken because we want the slimes doing little damage as possible. And this works with the lucky coin, which means every time you hit an enemy, you've got a chance of dropping money. So I'm just going to take off auto pause here and let's get started. Beautiful. Now you can see all those lovely number ones flying in the air. That's our slimes doing damage and the money rolling in. So you can see we're already up to 22 gold and it's been running for about 20, 10 seconds. Okay, so now to go into how the farm actually works. So to make a biome key farm fold, a fold mold farm, you know what I'm talking about. Basically what you need is aspects of all four biomes here in this one little trap. You use the ocean because it's easy to overwrite the ocean biome, but it still just spawns normal mobs. So first thing I've done is used jungle temple bricks because they can't be overwritten by other, they can't be overwritten by corruption and crimson, things like that. And you only need 80 of them. And I'll put the numbers in the description too. So 80 jungle bricks and that makes those Arapaima mobs spawn. They're super fast, they've got decent health, so it works well for this trap. To make the snow biome, and you can see snow's falling outside at the moment, so we know it's active, you need 300 or more, or at least 300 snow blocks. And I've used ice blocks for that, so I've got 200 each side, and I'll explain why I've got 400 instead of 300 in a moment. And the reason I've used ice blocks is because they can be changed to different biomes and that's part of the trick here. So, I've used 400 ice blocks so we've got snow biome. Now, corruption can actually corrupt ice blocks. So all I had to do was put some even stone around to get it started and now it's fully corrupted like that. So basically, I've got at least, you need at least 200 crimson blocks I mean corruption blocks to make a corruption biome and I've done the same with the crimson now you will have to make a separate world to get your crimson working um, and all you need to do is go to a new world mine a few crim blocks crimstone or crim sand and you just put them around the ice until it gets the crimson effect okay so all four biomes are active and what I've done here is I've also set up a piggy bank and a safe and the reason for that is you can access all your gear from base without actually having to go back to base. So it's kind of, they've got this weird like magic bag quality going on. So you can see here, I've been doing a lot of testing with this mold, making sure it can actually farm as much as I can say it farms uh, before I did this video. And you can see it's farmed quite a few molds. It's a little less on corruption, so I guess maybe I could add some more corruption blocks that might increase it. But remember, it's a 1 in 2,500 chance or 1 in 2,500. So chances are you're going to get one more than one mold than another. I've also got, you can see a little bit of uh, crim sand on the side, and that's to spawn dark mummies. So if you're trying to get items like the megaphone and the fast clock, uh, this is a really good way to get them just while you're sitting here doing nothing. So my reasoning guys is if you're going to farm, you may as well be doing as many things at once. So you can see a dark mummy is coming in now. Now the spawn rate on these guys is terrible. Even with water candles, they're very rare. 
So I like to just be farming them while I'm doing something else. The another thing that a lot of people forget to do, and I think it's some people don't actually know, is if you hit a block with an axe, you can actually change the way it's shaped. So you can see the edges of the water here. I've actually sloped them into the water. I see a lot of people who make these ocean farms and I feel they're doing it wrong, to be honest. Or not wrong, but maybe not as efficient as it could be. So if you simply slant the blocks into the water, any fish that spawn on the side are gonna get caught and then they'll drift underneath into the trap. Now, I think it just happened before, even flying mobs, if they get caught in this area here, they'll drift down and if they've got enough speed, they'll actually launch into the water and then once they're in the water, they don't care. They'll swim right up to you. So it's a really good trick. You can use any ax to do it. I haven't upgraded my ham ax since I got to hard mode, but it really doesn't matter what you're using, guys, to be honest. Okay, so that's pretty much covered everything there. If you've got any questions, please ask me um, about how to set it up. Could you do it a bit different? Uh, the last thing I suppose I should add is you don't need too many platforms in the water, but I have got steps here because I noticed the mummies weren't jumping quite as well without it. And it also makes sure the loot stays right near you. Now you'll notice there's only a couple of coins sitting in the water. So this trap will nab you 90, 95% of all the loot that drops, the coins and everything. Because there's only one row of blocks between us and the mobs, it means most of the loot's gonna come straight up to us. So that's another good thing too, because if you've dropped key molds and you're AFK, after 200 more items drops, it'll despawn, which really sucks. There can only be about 200, 250 items on the screen at a time. So another really good thing to note, you really only want one row of blocks between you and the mobs. And I find that's what another other biome farms don't do right. They have too many rows between them and the mob, so the loot actually just drops on the ground. Okay, so you can see already, I've only been running this trap for a couple of minutes, maybe four minutes, and we're already up to two platinum and 40 gold. So two, three minutes and we've earned that much, guys. So you do the maths over an hour, we're gonna have at least 20, maybe 25, and if you get lucky, 30 gold and beyond in an hour which is amazing when you think about it. Plus you're gonna get biome molds, plus you're gonna get loot from the, the uh, zombies and things like that. Plus you're gonna get pirate maps. I love this trap, it's so effective, and I think you'll love it too if you give it a try. That's it from me. If you found this useful, please leave a like. Uh, I really appreciate it and it makes me wanna do more of this stuff. Leave a comment, as I said, if you've got any questions about this trap. And if you haven't subscribed to us yet, please consider doing that. Uh, it really helps me out. Plus it lets me know that you wanna be part of us here. And there's really awesome people here and you're gonna have a great time if you come and get involved. All right, thanks for watching, stay happy, and I'll see you next time. See you crew.